Hello everybody, welcome back to another After Effects tutorial. This one I'm going to show you how to create this grainy, scratchy, old school TV effect. You guys remember the 80s when you were playing your, your last copy of Ghostbusters and it would get uh, kind of grainy? Well, I'm going to show you how to do it. So let's go step by step. Let's go from the beginning so you see exactly what I did to do this. Okay, first step, load in your footage like I've got here. The next step, we're going to go up to Layer New and we're going to create an adjustment layer. So we're going to work on the adjustment layer. What we do now is we want to go up to the top now that we've got our adjustment layer, grab this pen tool right here, and what we're going to do is we're just going to zoom in a little bit, and I'm going to make a quick mask. You'll see here that I'm just clicking some points, adding them around the TV screen, and around these curves, all you got to do is just click, click, and then just pull a little bit so you get the handles, and then that way you get a nice curve as opposed to a straight line, which is not what we want for this type of TV. Once you've got that under control, just go ahead and click, close the mask now we've got a mask and it's not bad but it's not quite perfect so i'm just going to click another point uh yeah no it's all right good enough okay good now the next step is we're going to go over to our effects panels for me it's located right here if you don't see it just go to window and then make sure there's a check mark besides effects and presets all right presets not presets <laughs> okay good now type in the word noise in your effects panel and you're going to see a few options noise noise hls noise hls auto that's the one we want the auto doesn't mean it applies the effect automatically it just means it animates the effect automatically so we're going to drag and drop that onto the adjustment layer when we do that nothing happens right out of the box not to be concerned what we're going to do now is we're going to just adjust the noise levels now this depends on what you're going for of course but i'm going to go with something like 10 percent 50 percent ish and then something like 60 percent really to sell it and then the animation speed, I'm going to actually jack this up quite a bit to about, uh, let's go to about 200. This way you can really see what's going on. Finally, you can change the type of noise from uniform to squared to grain. I'm going to select grain because this allows you to change the grain size. So instead of having small grains, you can actually have a very chunky look if you want to. So I'm going to go with a chunky look just to show you what I'm talking about. Now, when I hit spacebar, I'll zoom out a bit. Watch what happens. There we go. We've got the old static TV look. Again, you guys can go in there and adjust this as you see fit. If you want smaller greens or you want less saturation, etc., etc., it's all there. That's how you do it in about two minutes. Thanks for watching.